Gratitude is one of the most powerful ways to transform yourself, your moment, your energy. You can transmute everything that's going on with gratitude. Gratitude will accelerate your ability to pull into your life all the things that you would love to have, all the things that you think that would be cool, your experiences, your relationships, your health, all of these different things. How many have heard my pencil story? A couple of you. Decades ago, you know, I, have, I, was in, I was homeless for a short time. I was in poverty for a very long time. And throughout it all, I was trying to work on myself. And I was going to the library, and I would go to the free lectures, and I would listen to the New Thought people and the Unitarian people and the self-help people. And more often than not, they talked about gratitude. And they would say, it's very important that you be grateful for what's going on. And I thought, yeah, right. You don't know what's going on. I am not grateful for this. I am not grateful for my life. I am not grateful for where I'm at. You bring me something to be grateful for, and I'll be grateful. And they would always say, that's the wrong, you're putting a cart before the horse. It's the wrong way. That's not how you do it. You have to practice gratitude for what you have now. You transmute your whole energy system, and then you start attracting things to match your new energy. As long as I stayed in the position of I'm unhappy, I'm miserable, I'm a victim, the world is out to get me, there's, nobody's going to publish my work, I'm never going to get anything out there, I'm not going to make a difference in the world, I'm going to die unknown. As long as I put that energy out there, that's what I was getting back. Anybody have a pencil? Well, the, the pen's fine. I remember taking a number two pencil, you know those yellow pencils? It says number two, we probably had them when we were in uh, grade school and so forth. And I looked around my room and I said, yeah, okay, let me try this gratitude crap. Let me see if I can make a difference by focusing on something. And I had a pencil. All right, a pencil. And believe me, I, my heart was not in it. I looked at that pencil and I said, pencil. All right, that piece of lead there, I could write a grocery list. I can write a poem. I can write a song. I can write a suicide note. I can write uh, 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 the great American novel. I can write an award-winning play. I started to get excited. I started to see that with that piece of lead, I could write things. I could write affirmations. I can write a script. I can write visualizations. I could write uh, pen pals uh, before the internet and everything. I could write all kinds of things that could make a difference. And I started to feel really different. And then I turned the pencil over and I went, wow, an eraser. How brilliant is that? If I don't want to do the suicide note, well, okay, scratch that out. You know? <laughs> If I, if I want, not want to write something or buy something at the store or whatever, I just erase it. I'm like, what an incredible invention. It's really a, just a, a twig. It's a stick. And somebody put uh, lead on one side and erased a piece of rubber on the other side, and now we can change the world. And in fact, many people did change the world with a pencil because when they were writing, the Mark Twains of the world and Harriet Beecher Stowe, and they wrote books that transformed people, they didn't have computers. They were doing it longhand. Some had pen and ink and all of that. But I started to realize this pencil is a work of genius. And thank God for the pencil. Every time I feel that story, I change internally. My energy goes up. I feel happier. I'm zinging. I'm just plugged myself into an electrical outlet. Do you feel that, just hearing this? And that's a guy who didn't have a job, who wasn't published, who wasn't known, who was sitting in a room in a house where the toilet was in the same room, paying a couple hundred dollars a month. When the car, the car broke down, my whole life fell apart because I didn't know how to pay for anything. This was deep struggle. I was married at the time, and she was struggling just as much with me, and we were unhappy, all of that. But I found a pencil, and I found gratitude for the pencil, and that pencil opened the door for me to look around and go, wow, I got a roof over my head. There's a whole a lot. When I say lot, I mean there's unimaginable amount of people that don't. I got a refrigerator, some food in the refrigerator. A whole lot of people don't have the refrigerator. I don't have a room for the refrigerator. And I have learned that the more you are grateful for your moments, the better the moments that come next, the more enriched they are, the more your dreams and those things that you wanted to, that you thought would be so cool, accelerate to come into your life. Keep in mind, when I did the pencil thing and I'm unknown, it, it opened the door for me. Today, more often than not, I get in my hot tub on my Texas property, and I look at the sky, and I'm saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. But I'm living the lifestyle of one of the rich and famous. Why? From a pencil. Because I'm practicing gratitude, and I'm still practicing gratitude today.
whether it's in the hot tub or as I go about my day, I, gotta look, I, I look around just to say, thank you. Thank you for the coffee. Thank you for Prosper is incredible, aren't they? Give them a round of applause. Prosper is just amazing. Yeah. Grateful for Prosper. Grateful for my life. Grateful for my health. And it's just, it's just a notation in my own life. I want you to look around on your life and in this moment, and particularly in this moment. Because the more you can be in this moment and focus on something to be grateful for, even at first, like the pencil, I wasn't grateful for it. I did it as an exercise. I was almost resisting completing. But the more I did that, the more I transformed. Gratitude is one of the clearing techniques. The clearer you are, the faster you manifest. Get into gratitude and your life begins to